Wow, has it been a long time since I've done it this week in Android? I'm This Week in Android News, and welcome to the show. So, let's get started. As always, let's start off with a little bit of app news. The official TV Guide app has been released, ESPN Score Center has finally been released as well, and a Norton Security app is now available. All of those, of course, are accessible by the Android market. Flash 10.3 Beta is also available as well. Now, of course, time for some tablet news. This is the LifeTouch Android tablet, which is running Android 2.1, and I know it looks like a Nintendo DS, but it actually has a 7-inch TFT LCD screen with a resolution of 800 by 480. It is an ARM Cortex-A8 processor and gets 256 megabytes of RAM and supports a 3 megapixel camera. Sony has recently stated that it will take on the iPad with an Android-powered tablet of their own. The Samsung Galaxy Tape has a 7-inch screen that's Super AMOLED, which is the biggest Super AMOLED screen ever. It is Android 2.2 and is 1.2 GHz ARM Cortex-A8 processor, 16 GB of onboard storage with a micro SD expansion slot that can be expanded up to 32 gigabytes. The Dell Streak will be available for $500 unlocked in the United States soon. This tablet is the Aspire One D2X0 dual netbook and it is dual booting Windows 7 and Android and will be available July 1st. The Android part of it is actually very interesting. It will be able to load up in 15 seconds and the tablet has eight and the net netbook has eight hours of battery life. You get a choice between an Intel Atom N4 or an N4000 processor at 1.66 GHz. It has a built-in webcam, 10.1 inch LED backlit display at a resolution of a 1024 by 600. And finally, time for some phone news. LG is planning 20 Android phones by the end of this year. The AGC Desire will be coming to the United States later this year. And there is now, there is now a hack to shoot 720p video on your Nexus One. Motorola Superphone of all superphones will be coming by the end of the year and will have a 2 gigahertz Android, will it be a 2 gigahertz Android phone that will be probably the most awesome phone ever. The T-Mobile Garmin phone is now available. And here, pictures of the Droid X alongside its competitors, as well as pretty good shots. There is also rumors that the Droid X will be released July 19th, and it will probably be announced June 23rd. Acer has outed two of its latest Android phones, the BE Touch E120 and the BE Touch 13 E130. But both of them will be running Android 1.6. Unfortunately, the Acer BE Touch E120 has two has a 2.8 inch QVGA touchscreen, while the H while the Acer BE Touch E130 has a 2.6 inch QVGA touchscreen and a QWERTY keyboard and looks like a BlackBerry but Android. Both have a 3.2 megapixel screen, a 3.2 megapixel camera, and unfortunately, they both have a 415 megahertz processor. The BE Touch E120 will drop in mid July 2010 and the BE Touch 130 will follow in August 2010. Alltech Leo 14 megapixel Android phone has officially been announced and to be released quarter four of this year for $499. This could be compared to the Garmin phone as that is a GPS with a phone inside of it. This is a camera that just happens to be a phone. The phone will run Android 2.1 and a Froyo update is in the works, and it, but it has a three times optical zoom with Xenon flash instead of digital zoom. Samsung has recently unveiled the Samsung Corby smartphone, which is running Android 2.1 and seems to be marked towards consumers. It is a 2.8 inch QVGA display, 600 megahertz processor, and a 2 megapixel camera, micro SD card slot. Samsung Galaxy Apollo confirmed as i5801. It features a 3.2 inch touchscreen as well as a 3 megapixel camera with autofocus and 4 times digital zoom, FN radio, and the usual support for connectivity. The HTC area has arrived on AT&T, June 20th, for $129. It has the Qualcomm MSN7227 processor at 600MHz, Android 2.1 with HTC Sense UI, 3.2 inch capacitive touchscreen at 320 by 480 512MB of ROM, 256MB of RAM, thumb and capsule camera, 2GB micro SD card included, up to 6 hours of battery life, and 15.5 days of standby. It is dating T's first real foyer into the Android market. The Droid 2 commercial that has been leaked says that the Droid 2 has a 1GHz processor and the Droid X is the icon app, which puts every movie, internet, clip, song, and photo at your fingertips to access at any device in your home at will making you your own media mogul. The Samsung Galaxy S Pro confirmed as Sprint's second 4G smartphone, as you can see in this picture here. T-Mobile is celebrating Father's Day by giving away Android phones for free, which means that if you really wanted that MyTouch 3G slide or that Garmin phone, you won't have to fork out 
over any additional money. Samsung has recently announced this, the Samsung Galaxy Beam, which is the first Android-based phone to have a Pico projector in it. The specs are Android 2.1, 2.7-inch Super AMOLED display, and an 8-megapixel autofocus camera with flash, and a front-facing VGA camera. All of these are pretty sweet specs, pretty sweet specs, plus the autofocus, plus the projector can make for a pretty nice phone for the corporate world. The next generation of Droid will apparently be unleashing on June 23rd at a special event which is being hosted by Verizon Wireless, Google, Motorola, and even Adobe. That's pretty exciting. Here's a picture of the official invite which was sent out to the press.